Welcome back and good morning. It is 641 and we hear the term emotional intelligence often, especially in terms of having healthy relationships. Really the simplest way of explaining emotional intelligence is having control of your emotions and understanding others. Former Marine and mental toughness expert Eric Ripmeyer joins us from Baltimore, Maryland to explain this concept. He's back, but it's been like, what, a year or so? I'll tell you how long it's been, Lindy. It's been so long. The last time I was on here, Scott had a beard. That's how long it's been. <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> we are so glad to have you back because it's so great to talk about this stuff. Um, so did we explain emotional intelligence right, or is there more you would want to add to that? I think you explained it perfectly. The coolest thing about it is just recognizing that we're emotional creatures. We're hardwired to feel first and think later. While we have no control over our level of IQ, how book smart we are, I'm a self-proclaimed not smart person, we can, we can learn how to be better connect with people, how to be in touch with our emotions, how to express our feelings, how to respond to things people say. So it's all, you hit the nail on the head with it. It's pretty simple stuff anybody can do. And so that's why sometimes you say maybe the person with the highest SAT score or valedictorian or whatever uh, doesn't do as well as the person who didn't have high scores in school. 100% and we're stuck with our IQ, right? It is what it is where EQ, everyone can increase these levels and for the longest time everybody thought, well, the smarter you are, the more successful you're going to be and there was this whole other component missing which was how they connected with people, how these leaders connected with people they worked with, how deep are their relationships, not just with their coworkers, at home relationships. These are all tips that anyone can learn. What are those tips you have to help? Yeah, one of the first ones really is about not allowing our emotions to be hijacked. I talk a lot about this. You know, everybody's heard these quotes before, but while we have zero over control over what happens to us, we have 100% control over what happens within us. Learn the process emotion. Learn to recognize it. Don't try to turn it off. Understand feelings are okay to responses. Just find healthy ways to express our disagreements with people. What about people who really need others' approval? What do you have to say about that? This is a problem, Lindy. We're so addicted to the approval of all these people. A lot of time, we've never even met them before. It holds us back from doing things that we're probably totally capable of doing. We don't want to start that business. We don't want to ask that person out that date because we're so afraid of being rejected. We use a process and this approval addiction and, and getting used to this. We have to get used to just saying, okay, it's all right. If somebody doesn't approve of me, it's okay. It doesn't mean that they hate my guts. It just means that they don't accept what I'm talking about. Well, you know, here's one question I have about that because there are days where I might get a message it's not so friendly and it really bothers me and I, I might another day and, and it doesn't at all. Um, and people have up and down days. You might have better emotional intelligence one day than the other, you think? 100% because again, we're, we're emotional creatures and instead of trying to stop the feeling, instead of trying to turn it off, everyone just needs to recognize that 100% of our feelings are okay. Whether we're happy, whether we're sad, 100% of our feelings are okay. It's how we respond to those feelings that's important. And instead of trying to ignore it or suppress it, just learn to acknowledge it, learn to recognize it, and then find healthy ways to articulate those feelings. And you say, don't be afraid of rejection. Yeah, this is a big thing, right? We use a process called systematic desensitization. Two of the biggest <laughs> words in my language have no idea how to spell them, but I can tell you what it means. We just systematically desensitize our brains to pain, whether it be rejection, whether it be people that, you know, touching snakes, whatever it is. Get okay with being told no. It's not that the person dislikes us or hates us. Maybe they just don't want what we have. Maybe they don't want to hear what we have to say, but get okay with rejection. Not everybody's going to accept our thoughts. You have a lot more great stuff to say about this. Can you tell people who are just hearing you for the first time, because you haven't been here in a bit, uh, how to get your book and more information? Yeah, you're the best, Lindy. Thank you. My book is The Emotional Marine. I love it because it's about connecting with people. It's getting people to like you. I know it sounds cheesy. The ladies love it because they can give it to their guys and be like, here, here's some <laughs> tips for you, right? Guys don't know this stuff. We're like wet mops, right? So it's really simple stuff. It's The Emotional Marine.com. Also, my website, Mental Toughness Speaker.com. You are the best. Thank you guys for having me. I miss you guys. Eric Rittmeyer, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Lindy. Have a great day.